tips. Florida's congressional delegation reacting after meeting with the FBI this morning about the alleged hacking of two counties during the 2016 presidential election. The circumstances and which specific counties were impacted still a mystery tonight. Our Washington, D.C. Bureau reporter Samantha Joe Roth is joining us now live from Capitol Hill. Samantha Joe, it's been years since the 2016 election. Why in the world is this information still considered classified? Tammy, the FBI told the delegation it's to protect intelligence sources, methods, as well as victims. But lawmakers here say that argument does not hold up, considering voters are victims who have yet to be notified. I don't know who the hell they think they are to not share that information with us. Aggravated after a classified briefing, Florida lawmakers are urging the feds to release more information about the two counties hacked by Russia in 2016. We think that the voters uh, in Florida deserve to know. The FBI revealing Russians attempted to infiltrate local election systems in all 50 states and did send multiple warnings to state officials, a reversal from previous speculation that the counties were unaware. There were some people who were notified, but clearly uh, what the lesson learned from the communications that occurred after the 2016 election was that much needed to be improved. The delegation was told the breach did not change vote tallies or the outcome of the election, but still they want more clarity. We have a lot of questions across our delegation on how the FBI came to that determination. But questions remain as to whether the voter rolls were compromised. They found no evidence of that, but they couldn't say with certainty that they did not manipulate that data. VR Systems, the Florida elections vendor at the center of it, maintains it was not a source of the intrusion. After reaching out to the FBI this week, writing, we stand by our assessment that a spear phishing email impersonating our company was likely the source. Now the delegation is looking for solutions to make sure this never happens again. The key is that we get the grants and other updates to the technology to our supervisors of elections this year to prep for next year's presidential election. Now, lawmakers say that they have asked the FBI and DHS to go back and review their notification process. They're also considering a bill that would make it mandatory for the FBI to pass on information to certain local election partners as well as Congress. We're live on Capitol Hill this evening. Samantha Jo Roth, Spectrum News 13. You can read much more about Samantha Jo Roth's story right now online. There you can also find out what Representative Charlie Chris is saying about the hacking. It's happening at my news13.com right now.